Hey everyone, Dan Freevault here, and I just want to do a quick video showing you how to use the Freevault flying fabric. So let's dive right in and do a couple quick images here to see all the possibilities that can be done with these fabric overlays. So first off, let me go here and say and show you here are all the fabric overlays. They're all shot high resolution, actual fabric, not computer generated and cut out and saved so they have transparent backgrounds. As you can see most of them are red but there's all different styles. Here's parachute, parachute dresses. This has got a little bit more texture of red. There's silk and there's uh, some transparent ones like soft chiffon. So a bunch of different styles and textures and colors but I'll show you how you can quickly and easy change these to any color including white. So let's dive back in here and just show you real simple. This is an image of a dancer I photographed outdoor and I just wanted to add a little fabric to her hand later. So I'm just gonna go back into the fabric here and grab this kind of flowy one. As you can see it's got the transparent background so all I have to do is copy it paste it into my document and it is already cut out and ready to go. I'm going to size it down, drop it in place. Let's say like right here. Then I normally just change the opacity, add a layer mask and go in and paint with black which is going to remove this area around her hand here. I'm going to do this real quick. All the videos are included when you purchase this. So I have several video tutorials, even if you're a beginner, to kind of go through and, and show you all about layer masks, clipping masks, hue saturation. Uh, you know, So if you're advanced Photoshop or, in, or new to Photoshop or Photoshop Elements, I help you through that whole process. So you're getting more than just the fabrics here. I show you how to do all these techniques, blending, even a little bit of painting in there and composite stuff. So here you have a quick drag and drop on here. I can go in and I want, if I want to change the color of this, I can easily change the color just by doing hue saturation or hit colorize if I really want a more vibrant color. Maybe I want this like green color. So boom, couple quick steps, you got yourself a very dramatic image. Let's go to a different file. This is more of a composite, but works the same. So I wanted this flowy fabric going on. You could see how, again, it's transparent. Things show through. She was holding some fabric, but it wasn't doing what I wanted it to do. <laughs> so it does help if they're holding some piece of fabric that you can at least remove later or have their hands cupped like they're actually holding, holding some fabric unlike the last one her hand was just kind of out there so it's not as good but it worked let's grab something more dramatic here let's grab this one copy this paste it in make sure it's not on a clipping path there we go and I'm gonna size it rotate it around and get this to fit Kind of close in there. That looks that's looking pretty good already. Change that opacity so I can see what I'm removing. Add a layer mask. Hit B for brush. Paint with black. So easy. The same steps pretty much for all of these. Let's get in here a little bit closer. Let's blend this. Like that, bring the opacity back. Bring some of this back. Make sure I'm on my layer mask. Let's do that. Okay, so now we have red, but we, well, we want to make it purple to match what she has. No problem. Just going to add a hue saturation, clip it in there and hit these sliders 
can only get purple. I don't know what purple is. Let's make it darker. There we go, now we're getting that purple. So now we have that fabric blended right in, super dramatic. You can see it's showing through some of the clouds and stuff already, which gives it more a realistic feel. The videos, again, I go in more detail on how to, to make that blend even more so it looks more realistic. Uh, this one's the same, just dumping a bunch of different fabric layers on top. You can see just all the different layers and I tweak the colors. I won't go into detail on this one. It's the same principle. But let's go into this particular one, show you how you can, a couple different ways you can build a dress. So here you can see the dress here and there with the fabric. I have a, some pre-built dresses that are parachute dresses. And let's grab one of those. Let's grab like this one. You could throw this on here if you wanted to. Make it larger for dramatic effects. <laughs> One tool I like to use with this a lot is the Puppet Warp. That helps tweak some of these. So you can see when I Puppet Warp it, I can easily make that fit closer to her waistline and still have the dramatic look. Now I would blend this and everything to fit better, but that just gives you an idea of you know what the pre-made dresses look like. You can also just make your own dress with the fabrics. So let's grab one of these here and kind of drop it in and show you a few options on how I built that dress. Select all, copy, paste it in there. Let's line that up. Let's bring this and make it larger so it's dramatic. There we go. Let's bring that towards her hand. So that's flowing this way nicely. Let's grab another one to like flow the opposite way. Hmm, which one looks good here? It's fun to kind of experiment. You never know what you're going to get when you start playing around with some of these. Copy that one. Paste that one. Let's make that larger. Let's bring that in here. This highlight is way too strong here. So I can just easily remove that. With, let's go 100%. There we go. So I'm going to blend that in. That's going now to like 30%. Blend this a little bit more. So there you have the fabric in there. I could maybe make it a little bit darker to match the scene or the match the other part of the dress. But that's it. You know, quickly and easily adding stuff in there and creating a dress. Again, hopefully you, you like this little mini course, <laughs> not really course, but just some mini examples of uh, how you can do it. I go much more into detail, much slower, where you can go step by step with the video tutorials that are included with the Free Vault Flying Fabric. Again, you have over 270, 275 different fabric layers here to play with, so you have endless possibilities. And that's about it. Hopefully you, you like what you saw. Go ahead and click the button below to purchase. Thank you.